So in this video, we're going to be going over how the new matte black coating compares to the glossy coating on the white versions of the Zowie Mice if you were to take it off. Um, also in this video, I'm going to give you my quick first impressions on the Zowie S2 and I'm also going to be unboxing this here, Zowie S1, just to see what we get inside. So, let's start off with the unboxing. Let's see what we get inside. Um, I'll be honest here, Zowie haven't um, really innovated much in this department. It's a very similar unboxing to all the other Zowie lineups. The mouse itself is kept in, um, you'll see this little plastic insert as well, which is nice if you want to try and protect the feet. Um, standard Zowie cable. The cable on this particular um, range of uh, Zowie mice is particularly um, improved if you were to compare it to the FK series and the first gen EC2As. Um, which I have a copy of as well. Um, as well you get the standard Zowie sticker, you get warranty information and you get an instruction manual. That's it. Nothing new, nothing's changed, um, does exactly what it needs to do, nothing too fancy. The coating this time around on the black um, Zowie lineup is certainly better than uh, previous iterations we've had in the past. Um, I've owned an EC2A black um, now for look at it, up to nearly four to five years. The coating on this bad boy is way, way better. It doesn't leave any any like a glossy residue after a while of use. Um, your fingerprints don't show up as much. Um, it doesn't matter if you've got much of a sweaty hand. It's not going to start sliding around in your hands, which is which is a good thing. Overall, the new coating is a great improvement to the Zowie lineup, and especially if you were to compare it to this um, matte white FK2, which I've sanded down by hand. Um, it feels just as good, if not better. I was actually kind of worried that it would show marks and residue because it is a black mouse, but so far I've been using this thing solidly for the last two to three weeks. This has not happened to me. It's pretty hot around here in, in England at the minute. We've had, just had the hottest July on record. And um, no, there's, there's nothing at all on the mouse itself. You may as well notice, I've actually paracorded this little baby. Uh, this thing is officially on my main. It's overtaken the Zowie FK2. As one main. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the shape details because I'm going to try and leave that for my full review. But essentially, smaller shape, better fits the palm, much better shape overall. I really like what Zowie's done with the design. If you're from the UK, you should be able to um, start pre ordering your new um, Zowie S2s and S1s off of esportsgear.co.uk. Um, not sponsored. Um, they're going to be the first people who, who are going to let you get your hands on this thing if you're from the UK. Um, as I mentioned, I've got a full review coming of the S series, S2, S1. I'm going to be going into much detail about how the shape works, buttons, scroll wheel, what I think of the mouse, how it makes you perform in game, etc. So yeah, um, unless there's anything else, thanks very much for watching, and I'll, um, I'll see you when I do my full review. Thanks a lot guys, appreciate it.